Welcome, Wordlings. I'm Mary the Knitting Deb, and this is BoardGame.News, where I give you the news for the last four-ish weeks. So Mayfair just announced a game where you play a chocolatier called King Chocolate. I am so excited for this game because chocolate? Have I mentioned I really, really like chocolate? In King Chocolate, you're going to be running a chocolate empire and working with other people on different parts of the pipeline. In chocolate, I guess somebody's gotta pick the beans and somebody's gotta clean the beans. It looks like it's gonna be a cool cooperative game that of course has a competitive aspect because you want to make more money than your other opponents. Hopefully it's good. I'm looking forward to trying it out. I want to play this game so bad. r, &R Games released a trio of games that look pretty interesting, including Gobblestones, which looks like an iPhone app, Come to Life, and Mombasa, and Rome. Rome looks super interesting. It looks like it's a city building economics game. What I like about the city building aspect of it is it looks like it was built on hex tiles. It would definitely be something new to my collection, so we'll see. I am kind of hoping that it's as cool as it looks. For all you Netrunner fans, Data and Destiny is coming out next week. Data and Destiny is the fourth big expansion, which means it's gonna come with 55 new cards, which is 165 cards in total. I am sure my Netrunner group is going to be pretty excited about this. Cool Mini or Not is publishing Potion Explosion in English. This looks like so much fun. It looks like it's going to be kind of a mixture of Candy Crush and Bejeweled brought to life on the table with some marbles and some cool stuff. I like the idea of getting marbles and making potions explode and the box art seems super, super, super cute. I can't, can't take cute things. I just, I'm kind of torn. Even if it's not a good game, I really want cute things. Speaking of cute things, Tom Vassal reviewed a game this week. Oh, the game is called My Fair Princess for Manifest Destiny. It's an anime game where you're trying to raise chibi princesses and it looks, I don't even know if it looks good. It just looks like it could be fun. It's so cute. Stupid cute games. It looks so cute. <sighs> On the other cuteness realm, Hasbro has released Loop and Chewy. Did you play Loop and Louie as a kid? That was like one of my favorite freaking games to play as a kid. My sister and I would bust it out and get angry at each other and yell at each other for hours because we knocked each other's chickens down. Little Chewbacca going, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. Whee! I want it. I think it's at Target right now. And why I don't have it right now, I don't know. Gale Force 9. Fox and Looney Labs are teaming up together to create a Firefly Flux. It looks like Flux is becoming the new Munchkin, with there being a new version of Flux coming out every month or so, but this one might have to get added to my set because it's Firefly. And really, really, really big, kind of dramatic board game news, Fantasy Flight bought L5R. I know so many L5R fans, uh, Legend of the Five Ring fans, that have wanted to play L5R and have seen it kind of dwindle. The plan is, is by 2017 to transition the CCG to an LCG, which means it'll be along the same lines as Game of Thrones and Netrunner and all the cool LCGs that are going on right now. I'm for it. I think it's gonna be kind of a cool buy from Fantasy Flight. And what board gaming news segment wouldn't be complete without the Kickstarter edition? I'm pretty excited about And Then They Held Hands. They've got the artist from Dixit. It's gonna be really pretty. It's a two-player game. I think it's gonna cause all the feels to happen. I think it's an interesting concept. I think it's going to be one of those games that couples are gonna play together and really be touched by the the art and the storyline and the progression of this thing of this game diy cloud dungeon is also a pretty cool little game it looks like it's just an rpg where you get to cut out pieces and build your character if it's something that interests you go ahead and go grab it it looks like it could be really fun to play with your artsy friends or even with just kids who want to like cut and paste and make their character and fight the baddies cool mini or not is kickstarting a pretty cool horror genre game and the horror genre games are not usually my thing the models in this look epic Epic. Also, it's based on one of my favorite faith-based topics, which is the Seven Deadly Sins. It's a 1v mini game where one is playing the sin and the other is playing 
Faith, which is the organization that's fighting the sin. I'm a Full Metal Alchemist fan, so this is kind of appealing to me in some ways. Basement City Games is kickstarting How to Kill a Spider. I think this is their first round of funding for this type of game. I've definitely fantasized about doing some crazy stuff to kill some crazy bugs. I think this is going to be a fun thematic game. Even if it's just got a couple good playthroughs, it might be worth it. Finally, there's Source Card. I don't think this one's going to make it, but it looks super cool to me. You're playing a hacker against somebody's server. I think it could be super cool. I like the concept. I want to see more programming board games. I know it's very hard to do outside of some of the kids realms I've seen like Robo Turtle and some other stuff. So that's got me excited for this last four weekish period. What do you use for board gaming news? I have so many feeds. It seems like if I don't follow everybody, then I don't get everything and who knows? Have you gotten your swear cat shirt yet? I got mine in the mail and it looks super cute and I'm not wearing it today because I wore it this weekend. It just makes me want to say all the things. Oh my god, it's so cute. Next week, I'll be back at my regular gameplay overviews and everything like that. Let me know what you think about new segments like this. And then please like and share and subscribe. That's how I know that you like doing this, especially the liking. If you hit the like button, then I've got a better idea of what you like to see from me. And comments. Comments are really cool too. Comments are a great way for me to just talk back at you because I talk back at all the people. Bye weirdlings. Have a good evening. Bye.